Hi everyone, Jason here from eGolf Megastore. I'm down here at our El Wassel branch. I'm joined by Worldwide Golf, and today we're going to be looking at shafts, specifically aftermarket shafts. I'm going to take this uh, discussion and put it into a couple of different areas. I'm going to go into what I believe uh, the importance of shafts are. I'm going to go into the value and the pricing of aftermarket shafts, why they're expensive. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to look at what we stock and why it's important to get custom fit for shafts. Straight off the bat, let me say, I think shafts are incredibly important. Uh, there are a few differences of opinion. Some people don't believe that a shaft is as important as some people make it out to be. Um, but I am of the persuasion that a shaft is very important. Why do I say that? Uh, over the 12 years that I've been doing custom fitting, time and time again, I have seen shafts play a huge role in performance in changing launch angles, changing spin, and helping get the right dispersion. Obviously, the club head uh, plays a huge role in that as well, but when you get custom fit properly, matching the two plays a, a vital role. I remember reading an article once uh, where the guy is obviously a lot smarter than I am, and he worked uh, for uh, one of the golf companies, and he made an analogy about a shaft uh, at impact or collision, and he used the analogy of a, a truck having a head-on collision, and he was saying at impact, uh, the shaft would basically be um, the aerial of the truck. Now, it's a good analogy to show you that the head is vital at impact, but the problem with that analogy is the aerial played no role of that truck getting to the impact or the collision. So I believe the shaft is vital, not just from a logical perspective that you're holding the shaft or you're holding the grip of the club and that's what you get the uh, club head to uh, the ball, but I believe the way the shaft profiles suits specific players. So let's look a little bit at the functionality of the shaft. Obviously, number one, it is attached to the head and you're, you're holding the grip end of the, or the butt end of the shaft and that's gonna be the delivery mechanism of the club head. Um, that's the function of it, but the shaft plays a role in how you get that club head back to the ball from a horizontal perspective and also a vertical perspective. In other words, your face angle uh, from a horizontal perspective, if you're going to be getting that consistently square or open or closed, and also from a vertical perspective, we're talking about loft and angle of attack. So shafts do make an influence and change in those aspects. The shaft uh, has its own unique profile. That's why you'll see so many different shafts out there. Each shaft has a, a specific profile or from an engineering term, they all have their own specific EI profiles. Uh, and you can see a lot of the manufacturers give you those in charts in order to see that. Now, when we swing a golf club, one of the most important areas in uh, finding out what shaft suits you is the transition of the golf swing. Depending on how you transition, uh, your changeover from your backswing to your downswing is going to influence how, what load or what pressure you put on the shaft. So there are obviously quite a few different ways players can transition. That's why there's loads of different shafts and loads of different weights to help with that. So if you look at this, if I'm a player who casts, I'm going to deflect the shaft a little bit in a way uh, and I'm going to have to use something or find something that's going to suit me in, in that area because what will happen is I'll cast it here, my hand speed will be pretty quick uh, in this area, and I'm probably not going to have too much speed here. My max power is going to be here. How do I then square the face up and keep that club square? We're going to try and look at a specific shaft and find something profile-wise to match that player. As well as, if I'm really aggressive at pulling with my arms, and I pull down with my arms, I'm going to put a lot of load on the butt end of the shaft. Or if I'm a player that's really aggressive in my transition, I might load the midsection of the shafts uh, quite differently. So the function of the shaft and the way it performs is very interesting and as you break it down and see it, the shaft moves in so many different ways. We need to find the right shaft for a player in order for him to get the most consistent results because the shaft is going to help you get the right loft, it's going to help you get the right club face angle and those things. Absolutely, I agree with the guys out there, the, the center of gravity is behind the shaft so that will make it kick the amount of kick and the performance will also be very much related to the shaft and how it performs. The second point that we're going to look at is aftermarket shafts and why are they so expensive and do they actually um, make a difference uh, in order to change a game and is the cost uh, versus the performance there? So why are they so expensive? Well, one of the key areas is the quality of materials used in a shaft are very important. 
Um, the stock standard shafts that you're seeing in a lot of the clubs, the manufacturers give uh, the shaft manufacturers specifics that they want from a club, but they say here's an amount they want to pay for the club. And therefore, the content and quality of the material they use uh, will be directly related to the budget that the manufacturer has. So in a high-end, high-quality uh, premium shaft, what you're going to find is the strands of graphite and the modulus of graphite are going to be much higher. The strands are going to be thinner, uh, lighter, and stronger. So the material itself uh, is going to be a lot more expensive. Uh, most of the top premium shaft uh, companies are buying their materials uh, from a company called Torre, which is a Japanese company who manufacture graphite and carbon fiber for the aerospace um, industry. So there are a lot of things that go into that. As well as that, with a high quality shaft, not, uh, many people don't realize that not, sh not all shafts are round or perfectly round because of the process used. Uh, the process is roll wrapping a shaft um, and that is going to leave a couple of things. It's not going to make the shaft perfectly round, but the higher end quality shafts are going to be much more round um, or their radial properties are going to be much more consistent throughout the shaft than other uh, cheaper shafts. Why is that important? Well, that's going to help uh, in the way the shaft performs throughout uh, the positions that are in because we're in a game where there is a rotational aspect so depending on the, how that shaft is moving that's going to be very important for dispersion. Um, so not all shafts are round. Uh, we'll go into one of the companies now designed a, a new way and a new mechanism of building shafts. So that's an important factor uh, in that as well as uh, the time and effort and the quality going into the shafts and also with that you see the quality control. So the high-end premium shafts have high-end quality, they've got lots of R&D time, and they're using the best materials in order to produce the most consistent and best results. The last point that I'm going to look at is what we stock here at eGolf Megastore and why we stock it. Um, so let's take a look at what we stock. We stock uh, most of the premium shaft brands. Um, we stock Graphite Design, we, we stock Oban, Acra, Fujikura, Mitsubishi Chemical, Valix, TPT Golf, which is a new shaft, and same as Valix, super premium shafts. We also stock a uh, slightly cheaper shaft, uh, Graphaloy. We also stock UST Mamiya. We stock quite a variety of different shafts. Not only do we stock a variety of different premium brands, but we stock a variety of different weights, a variety of different flexes, and a variety of different profiles of shafts in order to get the right match for each player. So we stock everything that we possibly can and the reason we do that is as I was talking about the, the function of the shaft, each player has a unique swing in tempo, in the way that they transition in the load, in what they're doing with their hands, uh, which is ultimately influencing what they do to the shaft. So when we're looking at the variety, we want to narrow that down and get the specific uh, swing of the player and then match the profile of the shaft to that player in order to get them a little bit more consistent results. Having said all of that, I know it's quite a bit of information. I'm still learning about shafts. Uh, I thought I knew a lot about shafts, but I've been watching and reading quite a bit more about shafts of late. And there are a lot of people who know a lot more about shafts than me. And I would recommend a couple of websites to go to. One of them is uh, Golf Shaft Reviews. Um, and also to have a look at uh, some of their things that they talk about because you'll get the, the um, engineering aspects of a shaft and why they're important. A shaft would not be complete without a grip. So we stock all the major brands, Golf Pride, Lamkin and Wynn, as well as stocking a couple of different brands like Pure and Iomic. We also stock a variety of different size grips uh, as well as a variety of different textures. This one's a cord grip, this one's a half cord, uh, and then this one's just a rubber grip. As well as that, we also stock a variety of different colors because colors is something that's very personal and players like to choose. So in conclusion, I believe shafts are very important. If you're in Dubai, why don't you come down to eGolf Megastore where you can get custom fit for a variety of different shafts, weights, uh, flexes, um, and performance related aspects like EI profiles and things like that. It'll change your game, so why don't you come down, have a look at the, the shafts, have a look at the performance, and then you can evaluate, are they worth the money? And I believe they are.